Hey guys, and welcome to a rather special video. Today, we're going to be taking on a challenge of our own making. Can we defeat Total War Warhammer Multiplayer one-handed? It's actually going to be that hand. Hopefully, I'm definitely going to use my right hand, not my left hand, for this challenge. So, I'm going to be trying to beat Total War Multiplayer. So, a game of multiplayer with only one hand. I've done zero preparation for this. Uh, I'm probably going to be going for dwarfs is my... Uh, first four off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure if I lock units, their set formation will stay the same. So we're not really going to be using the keyboard much, just the mouse. I can probably keep this hand up or like on my shoulder or something so you guys, guys know I'm not indeed using it. And uh, it's going to be tough. We can't move around the battlefield. We can't really use hotkeys or anything like that. Um, we can't rotate easily. We can't rotate our army around very quickly. We can't uh, rotate our camera super easily. So it's certainly going to be a bit of a challenge. But I am using my strong hand. My right hand is my strong and uh, dominant hand. So hopefully that will aid us where possible. This video probably will be edited between my favourite moments of different battles. It looks like we're up against a clan member straight away. <laughs> CD's Debold. So hello. I'm even typing one-handed. Because that's how pro I am. So the problem is with dwarves, particularly against the good players, they're quite abusive, uh, easy to abuse. Particularly if you pick a faction. But I think we're going to go for dwarves to start and just see. Our opponent might can pick us straight away. We'll have to wait and see. But Debord of Bretonia, I've definitely heard of him before. Uh, so he's, I think he's played in some of my uh, live streams recently. Due to the fact he is in one of the clan war groups that I am doing. So it's going to be an interesting game. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully he doesn't go beastmen because that is uh, pretty dreadful for us. It looks like he's going to go lizardmen. Okay. A, uh, a winnable matchup for sure. Um, let's go super elite and super defensive and just hide and just pr pray that works. So go for a nice little box formation and uh, pray the victory can be ours. Honestly, all the items are going to be pretty useful for this matchup in particular. So let's bring Rune of Wrath and Ruin. Let's get some slowness and some speed in there as well. Um, Forex Rune Armor is not going to be the most useful, so we're going to leave that for now. But we're definitely going to get a Master Engineer in here. Beep, 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 beep. Let's get a fiery ring. Cool. Looks like that is all some good stuff. So let's get some Miser Blast in charges to help clear out the enemy. I'm actually going to go for, I believe, double Iron Drake Tra Hammer Torpedo build and see how that works. Because normally going Mass Thunderers can be good here, but with only one arm, that's going to be quite a bit of micro management that we might not be able to achieve. So let's uh, get a cheeky one cannon as well couple of slayers in the back, a couple of the homies, and a lot of great weapons. Something along these lines looks pretty decent to me. Now, dwarfs may not be the best pick for this. Now that I've been like, oh, hey, yeah, we'll go dwarfs. It's the sensible choice. We don't have to be too aggressive. We can react to our opponent a little bit more. You just have to kind of... Dwarfs, you have to kind of like see into the future a little bit and where the threat's going to come because you're too slow to react to them. So as long as we can see that, hopefully we can get our units moving in time. Uh, my biggest concern with this is going to be the uh, camera. I'm trying to move the camera back and forth. We can do a lot of it with the mouse and not have to worry too much. Uh, but it's going to be a lot slower. We're going to be so much slower again when we want to on the battlefield. And that's, that's going to be a bit of a problem. A little bit of a problem for us. But Miner should be able to clear out skinks. Uh, Dwarf Wars of Grappens, I'm hoping to do okay against Saurus. And it's really a game of can we protect the Iron Drake Trollhammer torpedoes. Like the cannon is what it is. Gotta look have fun. And there's a good chance we're going to come against a load of Pterodons. Uh, who can shut down the cannon. But Pterodons are actually really bad at shutting down Iron Drakes. So it might not be the end of the world there. So let's do this. Good luck, Mr. Bold. You are our first victim. I don't know if this is going to be all done in one sitting. I'd see how many games it takes me to win. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll jump between I'll jump between between the games and the highlights of each game. Unless we happen to win it here at first. If this is the first game, I'm just going to do this as a whole cast, and you guys get to see a little bit of everything here. But uh, I'm looking I'm excited. I'm excited. Although I think the board's a pretty slow player. I've seen him play in the clan more recently for CB up against the extreme meme team. So he should be a relatively solid, decent player. Which doesn't mean he's unbeatable. Does not mean he's unbeatable. We certainly have our chance. It's a uh, handicap chance for sure, but it's still a chance. It's still a chance. I think Iron Drake's taking down any large creatures could be really crucial. Um, if I'm him, I've gone very wide here though. Very, very wide indeed. Which is the best way to play this matchup, I feel. And he's not gone super wide. 700 troops. Okay, that's a good start for us. That is a good start. That makes it a little bit more manageable. Oh my god. Oh, like the fact that I have to push forward and back to move the camera. Okay, we can like move around with the middle button. This is so... I'm kind of <laughs> regretting, regretting my life choices to 
to deciding to do this challenge. So let's pop the Iron Drakes down there. Oh, this feels so horrible. <laughs> I cannot describe how, like, horrible and alien this feels, feels to play like this. So let's get our Slayers in a nice defensive position because we're not going to be able to move them very swiftly around the battlefield. Um, probably best still to have Blast and Chargers in the front line. I would say. I'm actually a fan of having them in the secondary battle line to ensure you can get off all your Blast and Chargers, but... Um, let's just stop them all down here. Oh no, I just realised I want my formation over here. Oh, how am I going to do this one-handed? I'm just going to pretend that this is where I wanted all my troops. Cool. So let's group you. Let's get our miners just vibing for now in the back. What else do we have? We have Longbeard's a great weapon, Caesar's the Regiment Renowned, real solid unit, very underutilised, in my humble duck opinion. Let's put you guys a little bit more wide. And uh, Master Engineer in the middle. And for a Guinebrow, cool. I think we're good to go. I actually... Oh god. Oh no. Oh no, how am I going to group stuff? Um... Oh no. <laughs> okay. Well, that's not gone well. I don't know how to group... I can't click on multiple people. Can I, like, group... group? Oh, no. Um, okay, if I put my mouse here, so I can press shift. Oh, you guys can't see this. This is some elite work right now to, to group these units. I've got to put the camera back. Not the camera, the mouse back there. Cool. I'm pressing shift with my middle finger, and then using my thumb to press the click. This is some elite content right now, I'm sure. Um... Let's just... Oh, God. Oh, no. I can't reach my mouse. Right. Let's... Oh, I'm just going to group all four of these together. It doesn't matter. Let's group them. Oh, no. I don't want to do this. Cool. Cool, cool. We're going to group everything together. Take it off that mode. Just put it in one group. And lock it so we can move it together at least at the start of the battle. Um, defensive mode, defensive mode, defensive mode. Awesome. Go look, have fun, champ. It's gonna be so funny when people look back at this and, <laughs> and see all the games I've played against in one hand. Like, why is Duck playing so terrible? So, hopefully, hopefully, when we move, we will stay in formation. Works! It works! Okay, okay, this is good news. This is good news. So, let's rotate. <laughs> okay, rotate our little dwarfish legs around. We do have triple pterodons, which is expected. We have a Felbracel on and a load of Red Crested Skinks and Basic Skink cohorts, which is an interesting choice. They can certainly be used to wrap around us. Um, yeah, a load of Saurus, Red Crested Skinks, nothing too crazy, honestly. Maybe the best way to do this challenge is actually going to be, like, full... Oh, God. I don't want, I need to follow the attack and roll, but it's gonna be tough. Um Maybe just full like Dowie elite build and hope we've countered the enemy is the best way to go here. Cool. The cannon's just kind of doing its thing. Let's just start shooting if we can. Let's see the range on this when it actually gets into position. Come on, cannon. Just so I can like attack. There we go. Okay, it's so a Krog's Gorosh. Okay. With Gorok, one I Chad. One absolute Chad build. I love it. Let's just move up a little bit. We've got that train on our left hand side helping to protect us, which is nice. Boop, 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 boop. Cool. Cannon shots are being unleashed into Skinks, which is a terrible choice for us, but it is meaning I don't have to micro move too much. Uh, let's now shoot at the Pterodons. So, Pterodons. Oh my god, this camera, so I'm gonna have to go over here and, and loop right around. Pterodons will be annoying, but that's about it. I mean. They can shoot Slayers, which would be a pain in the butt for sure. Let's unleash some cannon shots upon them. I would quite like my cannon to be alive during the midpoint of this battle. Just so I can shoot all these uh, Bastillons and stuff. Okay, let's get these guys over here as well, just to help assist in taking down the enemy. Let's pop on you. Okay. Oh, no, no. Oh, well, well, you know. It's still slow. It's still a slow. And let's get the cannon switching shots there. Cool, we did some decent work to the Pterodons. They've been forced back. 
One unit is nearly broken. Right, let's switch targets to this one. Get the cannon just fire into the Basildons. I'm honestly, I don't really like Croc Score rush builds personally. They are very good. I just, I can never make them work against Dowie. I'm sure, though, um, our opponent has obviously quite a lot of skill with them. Okay, he's kind of trying to dart back and forth and just waste our ammo, which is fine. We've got so much ammo and we've got replenishment. So, using our ammo is absolutely fine. Oh, lovely little rock drop on our miners. I'm not able to dodge that, but hey, they're just miners. It's uh, what they were born for. They were born to die. That uh, cannon is very inaccurate, as all dwarvish artillery pieces seem to be. Ugh, let's bounce back like that. Okay, let's continue to shoot. Let's push him wide of our big boys. The Andrex can be very, very crucial here, um, as well as our slayers. We do need to keep these guys alive. Our opponent's really slow ball in the approach for some reason. I guess it's to try to get value from his pterodons. But this is going to allow us to fly down the ranks of some units as well in a second, which is quite nice. Although aiming for the Basildon isn't the worst idea. Then again, the Basildon's not going to do that much damage, so I think the crop score might be better. Right, let's switch to those Red Crisis Skinks, see if we can actually get some shots raining down the line. Okay, yeah, here's Rock Drop in the Iron Drakes. That is fine. It will do zero damage to us. Uh, Rock Drops actually do fire damage as well, just for a quick note for anyone uh, who is uh, new to my play. So we're doing some okay damage here. One unit of Pterodons has been beaten back rather successfully. So got Eindrix over here. Eindrix here. Master Engineer as well can start popping some shots. Now the cannon does need to continue to focus fire. Let's start hitting those croc scores in the front line. Let's push the little skin keys while we can. Now, there is going to be a manscore so come down which is a little bit scary. Oh my god this camera I need to rotate around to here. Um, Little skin keys will be taking the damage. We realistically want to be using those blast and up on the red crested skinks, but oh well, I, uh, I'm not going to choose to micromanagement too much right now. Borek Ironbrow, Iron let's switch the target to you. Let's slow the front man's call so he can't do anything. There we go. And he's just coming for a big old ramrod in our front. Is okay. Let's intercept you. Let's pop a run of speed down on his black troops. Cool. And oh, I need to probably get the eye drake shoot for that. Good. Let's push up some of our slayers. He's trying to push for his gut. This is so sloppy play, and I hate it. I understand. I understand why it's sloppy play, but it's still horrible, you know. To be playing like this. Oh. Okay, they're jumping in below their troops, it's fine. Let's get a nice little Ooh. fire ring down the line. Okay, let's get all our slayers over here. Get rid of those pesky proxigors, that'll be quite useful. Let's pop a ring doom down. Hopefully that'll allow our dwarf warriors to fare pretty good. Where's, uh, oh god, we have so many troops just vibing. I can't really see the map properly because I'm so constricted. But let's charge over. Cool. Fins are going actually okay, surprisingly. Let's fall back with you. Where are you guys at? Keep shooting the, the Croxagore. We need to keep these guys alive. Croc is alive for now. Let's pop a little rune of Rack and Rune down. I hear a second man to summon, which is not good for us. Okay. Try and save our Iron Drake if we can. Start popping some shots. Nothing can stop us. Okay, get Forrick in there, can get down and dirty. Master Engineer probably wants to fall back. Let's put a big flash bomb down in the centre. Okay, we're blasting charges back. Let's keep this pressure up. We're doing good, we're doing good. Right, the second Crocs unit needs to die. Forrick's just a tank. He like doesn't really care if you attack him with big dinosaurs because they don't have great stats for the most part. Yes, yes! Cool. Eindrakes have survived. Let's try and spare our fellow Eindrakes. Right. Let's pop in here. Get back to you and get a surrounded infantry. I think we're winning. This is so. There's no way this can be winning, right? There's no way. The cannon needs to uh, move its booty. 
Let's move back with you. We do have another fiery ring. Ooh, I hope that's catching more enemies than me. Shoot into the back of that unit. Bring slayers over. Cool, 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 cool. Continue to shoot. I'm actually going to start shooting the Saurus Warriors. Let's mass them, bring you back. Okay, mine's doing a real sort of job. Do we have any troops that can come back? No, my opponent has a load of troops which are rallying. And a lot of them are flying troops, which could be problematic in the later stages of the game. Let's keep you alive. Forex doing fine right now. Up against Gorok. Hmm. Where am I, I suppose? Across. I love how we have the Iron Drake bros like support each other from across the, the battlefield. They like keep shooting up and over. Got miners help protect our boys at the back. Oh, I said I was winning this. It's a little bit, a little bit sketchier now. So a lot of our range ships are dying. Okay, you guys can actually hop back onto your cannon. Let's continue to chase. Let's drop a flash bomb down just on anything. Just anything. No way! No way! First time! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, let's pop in our uh, rune of speed down. Let's run Gorok. Gorok's gone down. Yes! Yes! The one-handed victory! I need to take one attempt. If anything, we play better one-handed. Uh, one hand... Just boom, one hand. I don't need to write any more than that. That was an awesome victory. Well played to Debold of Bretonia, obviously playing with his uh, not so favoured Lizardmen when he is clearly a Bretonia main by the sounds of it. Uh, that was an awesome game. Uh, the, the thing that I didn't prepare for the most, I thought micro would be the hardest and it was really hard, one hand in micro, is tough. It's really position of that camera, like I had to like wiggle away and then come back to actually see the battlefield how I wanted it. Dwarfs were definitely the faction to go um, because you can be rather... Not stagnant, you don't want to be stagnant, you always want to be moving, but you can be real defensive with them. So having that like one camera angle can really help when taking down forces. And luckily for me, I, I really don't think Crocskull Rush is the best way to play this. Um, I think going wider is, is always better in this matchup. You can see the Crocskulls kind of really struggled across the board. Um, Gorok did 1.3k damage value, not bad on the mighty Gorok, but everywhere else kind of struggled a little bit. Saurus didn't do too bad. We were able to nullify a lot of the Terradon Riders. Cannon got just shy of a K. Not bad at all. The Iron Dregs, 1.6K damage value, 578. 1.7 on those uh, Dragonback Slayers, 745 damage value on Grubbing Guard. Yeah, Slayers, they're good across the board. That was a, uh, a solid victory, a solid victory. We played pretty garbage, but I had zero practice with it doing this one-handed, so I'm just really happy that we managed to pull that off first time. So unfortunately for you guys who are viewing this, when I said, hey, we're going to be editing this video, you're going to be seeing the highlights of all my failed and, and miserable attempts at winning this one-handed, I just have the one battle for you. It's too easy. Maybe next we'll have to switch it over and just use our left hand instead. At some point, I do want to attempt the challenge of winning a game of Total War Warhammer multiplayer blindfolded. That is kind of my, my big one that I want to build to, but if there's any more challenges, challenges you guys can recommend please do leave them down below in the comment section like subscribe all that standard youtube -y stuff it really helps out way more than you can know and there are links down below as well in the description to my patreon if you'd like to support the channel and my discord where you can hop in and uh, get involved with tournaments live streams and events and all that kind of cool stuff that i do host so until next time guys peace peace and as always stay